So I'm in the process of cleaning Remus out and I remembered somebody was asking about um, his cage and I'll show you like bit by bit like what it looks like without bedding as I'm cleaning him out now and um, what it looks like with obviously when it's all done nicely. <laughs> so basically um, this cage was built a couple of years ago for Astrid. So what we did was is that we got some uh, melamine wood from like, B and Q, I think it was. Um, it was. It's fairly cheap. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it's fairly cheap. The dimensions of the cage are about three foot by two foot, which I think gives about eight hundred and fifty square inches of floor space, something like that, which is over the minimum particular cage doesn't have a lid because it's two foot tall so he can't climb out. If you do have a cat though or an animal that can jump in then please get a lid. Daisy! Sorry I had to retrieve some slippers off Daisy. In the front is the Perspex that I bought off eBay because you can't find this thick Perspex in like being cues or anywhere um, and also it's a lot cheaper off eBay so if you are looking for perspex I'd recommend looking on eBay. Then my parents made me this divider in the side and um, it's just like a plank of wood that's been like hot glued together and um, I've just painted it with Coupinol paint and the whole cage is screwed together, we didn't actually use glue just because it would take a lot of hot glue and a lot of glues aren't safe for hamsters. You can use sealant but they can rip that off. It's just in my opinion easier and cheaper just to use screws. Back here, that's one of the screws. And along the side at the front here, this was glued on. It, but it looks nicer because it covers all the screws that were along the perspex. So this is just some plastic edging that you can buy in like B&Qs or anywhere like that. So all in all this cage has been really good. Um, the only problem I've had with it really is this corner back here and Remus has chewed like through the top layer of melamine and so we had to put some perspex down we had to glue that down in the corner there to stop him it has worked although he has like weed over there a few times now and I can't get it clean so yeah apart from that this cage has been brilliant and really simple to make I'm sorry I couldn't show you because um, I didn't film the process because this was a few years ago but I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.